discuss in today's class is one of the most important processes proc report very very important in future if you are going for analysis and reporting profile if you are keeping tables listings in our resume in clinical or if you are going as in a data list in banking or finance sector without proc report you will not have an interview one of the very 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 important processes okay and if you are into that analysis and report or if you are into the tables and, and listings 60 to 70 percent of the time you are going to work with proc report at the end of the day you have to report your data only by using proc report okay and listen carefully today tomorrow i guess the day after tomorrow also we are going to discuss about the proc report and at the end of the proc report again you are going to have a 20 tasks and you have to complete all the tasks clear everybody yes sir My screen is not visible. I'm sharing my screen. Visible, sir. Visible, sir. Visible. Now, what is proc report and why we use a proc report? Okay. Now, proc report is a combination of Combination of proc print, proc means proc frequency, proc tablet, and some of the features of data step. So, proc report is a combination of proc print, proc means proc frequency. Proc tablet and some of the data step features. So since it has got so many applications, so many features, so many options in it, by using Proc report, we can generate a wide variety of reports. Wide variety of reports. And this is one of the most flexible reporting tool. And I told you in the last class, uh, when we are using a proc print, uh, what we can do the maximum, I told you by using proc print, we can do the maximum, we can get the subtotals and grand totals for numerical variables. But by using a proc report, uh, we can generate descriptive statistics. Descriptive statistics. This is one of the very important features of proc report. Okay, and by using proc report, we can print or print all or some of the variables, some of the variables of a data set. And as I said, we can generate the descriptive statistics. And this is one of the versatile reporting tool, widely using report, widely using reporting tool. Okay, so proc report is a combination of proc print proc means proc frequency proc tablet and some of the data set features since it has got so many options in it we can generate a wide variety of reports by using proc report and we can print all or some of the variables of a data set along with that we can print descriptive statistics for all the numerical variables of the data set okay now what and all the options and statements we are going to write whenever you want to write the proc report we are going to write a proc report and then depends upon a requirement we are going to use different types of options and then we write a stall a call a statement called a column statement in the column statement we specify the variables list and then and after that we are going to write a new statement called a defined statement in the defined statement we write different types of variables and we should write one defined statement for each variable. If you write a defined statement for variable one, if you want it one more 
you know, if you want to define the second variable and you should write the second variable name and you should apply whatever that uh, attributes you want to apply, you can apply that attributes here. Why we the define statement? To define the attributes for a variable. And after that, uh, we write a statement called break statement. And after the break statement, we also use a statement called R break statement. In the R break statement, we write a few options. And uh, now we are going to write eight different types of uh, compute statements. How many types of compute statements we write? We write eight different types of compute statements. Because of the presence of a defined statement and the because of the presence of the compute statement, it has got so much of flexibility. It can generate different types of reports by using, you know, this proc report. First, we will go with the options and then after that, we will go with the, the statements. Okay, now. To explain the PROC report in detail, I am going to take the class data set. I'm taking this data set from SAS Alter class. Now, if I execute the program, I am going to have a class data set in the work library. Now, I'm selecting this program. I'm executing it. Now, we have a class data set in the work library. Now, I want to report this data set. To report this data set, I am writing my program like PROC report semicolon run you know what will happen if i execute this program you will get a print or report for the most recently created data set of work library because by default what is the default library work library now if i select this program and execute the program now i'm going to have a report for the most recently created data set now say i'm executing this program i'm getting the report like this one now while we are discussing about the proc report Every now and then, we need to discuss wherever we have the differences between the proc print and proc report. We need to discuss that those report those differences. Now, can you tell me by seeing this one, what is the difference we have between proc print and proc report? What is the first step on the difference difference that you can identify? In proc report, yes. Yes. Uh, no, yes. When we use a proc print, by default, along with the variable names, you will get an extra column called OBS column. But when writing the proc report, there is no such OBS column. This is the one of the you know main difference between proc print and proc report. Now say I am writing at the same time proc print and semicolon and then run. Now if I put both the programs together, we are going to get the report for both print and that report. This is a proc print result. Can you see along with the five variables, we have an extra variable called OBS. And then can you see we have here we have only the five variables. So this is one difference. So when you use the proc print, by default, we are going to get an OBS extra column called OBS, but that OBS you will not get when you use a proc report. And the second difference is, you know, if I go to output window and this is the result of proc print. Now, can you see how the sex variable name is printing? It is printing in horizontal dimension, but can you see in the proc report how the sex variable is printing in a horizontal dimension? You know, in the proc print, the variable name will be get adjusted to the variable width. But in the proc report, the variable will not be get adjusted to variable length. You know, variable length will not be get adjusted to variable width. You know, in the sex variable, do you know what the length of the sex variable in the size of that class? What is the length of sex, sex variable in the SAS alphabet class? One. One. Since we have only length of one, it is printing in the vertical dimension. But in the proc print, it will adjust to the width. That's why it is printing in a horizontal manner. But in the proc report, it is printing in a vertical manner because it will not, the length will not be get adjusted to width. So since we have length only one, it is going to print in the horizontal dimension. We'll see later how to print the sex in vertical dimension, sorry, horizontal manner. We'll see that one later. So this is the second difference between proc print and the proc report. We'll see the other differences whenever we come across those differences. Okay, now, but if you want to report a specific data set, what is the, state, what is the option you should write now? You should use an option called data is data. equal to. Now I am writing proc report, sorry. I am writing 
proc report data is equal to now i want to print specifically sas help dot class semicolon run now specifically for which data set you will get the report now you will get the report say specifically for the class data set now say if i go to the program i'm getting the report for sas help dot class so now tell me what is this data is equal to option to that is equal to option specify the data set name which you want to for which we want to get we want to get the report it specifies okay that is equal to specifies the data set name or select the data set name for which you want to get the report okay now if i execute the program where i will i'm getting this report i'm getting this report in output window or result viewer window but what i want to do i want to save this report into a data set now if you want to save this report into a data set now we are going to use an option called out is equal to out is equal to specifies a data set name out is equal to specifies a data set name in which the report will be get saved now say i am writing now proc report proc report data is equal to for class data set i want to have then out is equal to i want to have this report into a data set called a temp then i am writing the run statement now if i select the program and execute the program now can you see yes i am getting the report in output window and at the same time if i go to the work library now can you see the same report is getting saved in a temp data set because i have given out is equal to temp okay now what we can have in the temp data set we are going to have the same variables of class data set but we are going to have one extra automatic variable which is underscore break underscore i will tell you later what is the use of this underscore break underscore but along with the five variables of the data set you will get one extra variable called underscore break underscore so very important entry question when you save your report into your data set what is the automatic variable that you will get you will get an automatic variable called underscore break underscore clear this one clear everybody yes sir right. then and now i am writing proc report data is equal to class data set semicolon run now i'll get the report for class data set of work library and this is how i'm going to get the report you know when you when you see this report in html window or result viewer window it is always be in a tabular format but if you go to that output window how the report will be the report is always be in a listing we are going to have just observations one after the other just like in a listing but in the output window also i want to have this report in a table now if you want to have this report in output window also in a table now we are going to use an option called box what this box option do box option wraps the report into a table in the output window also now i'm selecting this program and executing it now can you see in the previously we used to get the report in this way but now after writing that box option now can you see how we are getting now in the output window also the observations we are having in a tabular format in a table so if you want to have a table like this one now what is the option you should give you should give an option called box so it reports the data within a box in output window understand this one now i'm writing you know proc report data is equal to data set name or keep a semicolon now write the run statement you know if i execute the program in the output window and the result view window we will have the report like this one okay now what i want to do now in if you go to the output window now can you see between the variable names and the data we do not have any space i want to have a blank line between the variable names and the data if you have in a blank line it looks good so i want to have in a blank line if you want to have in a blank line now we use an option called head skip what this head skip will do head skip will insert a blank line 
between the variable names and the data. Now see, I am writing get a data set name. Then after that, I'm writing a head skip. Now select the program and execute it. Now can you see in the output when it works only in the output window? Now can you see between the variable names and the data, we have a blank space. We have a blank line. So that we have a good separation between the variable names and the data. Now we can easily distinguish data from the variable names. So if you want to have this blank line, what is the option you should write now? You should write an option called head skip. Now, what I want to do, I do not want to have an, a blank line. I want to have a line between the variable names and the data. Now, if you want to have a line between the variable names and the data, now we are going to use one more option called headline. What is this headline will do? Headline will keep a line between the variable names and the data in the output window. Now see, I am writing again proc report, data is equal to the data set name, which is a class data set. Now I'm using an option called headline, keep a semicolon, write the run statement. Now select this program and execute it. Now can you see in output window, now we can have, we can see that uh, there is a, a, a specific line between the variable names and the data. So to have this line, we use an option called headline. Now what I want to do, I want to have an, a blank line and at the same time, I want to have a line also. If you want to have an, a blank line and a normal line both, now what we should do, you should write the proc report, data is equal to data set name. Yes, I want to have a head skip, I want to have a headline, I'm writing head skip space headline. Now I'm writing the run statement, now select this program and execute it. Now we are going to have in the output window. Yes, we are going to have an, a blank line. And yes, we are going to have a line. Now can you see, it looks even better now. Now, say for example, if you are using SAS 9.4 version, if you are using, sorry, if you are using SAS 9.2 version, whenever I write in the PROC reports program like this one, PROC report, data is equal to data set name. Now, if I sell, if I write the run statement, execute the program, you know where you will get the report? Generally in the SAS 9.4, where we are getting this report? In which windows we are getting this report? We are getting this report in output window and in the result variable window, right? But if you are using SAS 9.2 version, by default, when you execute the PROC report, you will get the report in a separate interactive window called PROC report. It's a default one in SAS 9.2. But from the 9.3 onwards, that is not default. By default, now we are getting this report in output window and in the result viewable window. You know why? Because in SAS 9.2 version, by default, we are going to have an option called windows. It is a default one. Accordingly, in SAS 9.2 version, since we have a windows, now whenever I execute the program, now can you see where I'm getting my report? I'm getting my report in a separate interactive window called PROC report. It's in a separate window. Understand? But from SAS 9.3 so 9 onwards, it is no windows. That's why by default, you will not get in a separate window. You are getting this information in the output window and the result view window. Now see, if I select the program and execute it, now since I specified the no windows, so where we are getting where we are getting this report now? We are getting this report in output window and in the result viewer window. So under default 9.4, no windows can like what they can no WD and But in 9.2 lay 9.2 lay by default windows so meko 9.2 lo windows untundi kabatti voddu anukondi meer akade em cheyali you have to specify no windows there but in the 9.4 by default no windows but if you want to have windows separate window you have to mention windows so 9.4 default em untundandi by default you are going to have no wd or no window or no windows. You can write anything. You can write anyway. And simply, you can also specify no WD.
Understand this one? Yes. Okay. And the next option that we have. So this time I am writing, say, for example, proc report data is equal to class data set. Now write the run statement. Now, if I select the program and execute it, this is how I'll get my report. You know that when we'll get the five variables and 19 observations, you will get this report in output window and in the result viewer window also. Okay. But when I'm printing the variable names, along with the data, I want to have the variable names also. And when I'm printing this data set, along with the variable names, I want to have a data. And every time I want to have a name is equal to Joyce, name is equal to Louis, name is equal to Alice, name is equal to James, like that one. If you want to have in that way, now we are going to use an option called name. I have given the named option. I'm selecting this program and execute this program. Now I'm selecting this program and executing the program. Now we are going to have, you know, this line this way. Now can you see how we have now? We have every time variable m is equal to the value. If you want to have every time variable m is equal to value, what is the option you should write now? You should use an option called named. Name. So named option gives variable names before each and every value. Now, this time I am writing proc report data is equal to data set name, which is a class data set. Now I'm writing an option called no named. Now, now select the program, sorry, no header. Now select the program and execute this program. Now, if I select the program executed, now you'll get only the data, but you will not get any variable names. Now, can you see? We have only the data, 19 observations, but there are no variable names. If you do not want to print the variable names, what we should write? You should write an option called no header. Clear this one? Oh. I'm writing proc report. Data is equal to class data set. You know, when I execute this program, generally, where will you get this report? You will get this report in the output window and in the result viewer window. But both in output window and the result viewer window, generally, we'll get this report table in the center of the page. You know why we are getting this in the center of the page? Anybody? Global option. What's the global option that we have? By default, we are going to have an option. So by default, what we are going to have? Center. center. That's why every time it prints the table in the center, right? But tell me if you do not want to have in the center, what we should do? If you do not want to print in the center, what no we center. should do? Option we need to write no center. No center. But if you write the no center, what will happen? It is a global option. What do you mean by global option from here onwards? the entire session will be get changed until you close the session or until again you change the value. So that means it is a global option, isn't it? What do you mean by global option? It is going to change the entire environment from now onwards. But I want to have this no center for only for this report. But if you report to the government, you the future, again you should write a global option center. I do not want to do that one. Now we have an A option for this one. You know, what are the options that we have? Instead of writing a global option like this one, instead of writing a global option like this one, now we can also write the center, no center within the proc report. Now, if I write the within the proc report, now what will happen now? This whatever the no center that you are writing, now this no center will work for only for this report. Okay, now see, I'm selecting this program and executing it. Now this no center is going to get applied for only this one. Now after this one, if I write again proc report, okay, then data is equal to class data set semicolon run. Now it is going to print in the center because whatever the no center that I have given, it was not in a global option. That was only for this procedure.
Understand this one? No. I want to report to sasr.cars proc report data is equal to I am writing the sasr.cars. You know, in the sasr.cars we have a nine, we have, you know, 15 variables, so we have 428 observations. 15 variables and 428 observations. You know, when I'm printing the 15, when I'm reporting the 15 variables in the output window, we cannot print all the 15 variables in one line. Can somebody tell me what is the reason? What was the reason why we couldn't able to print all the 15 variables in one line? And only we are could, we could able to print first seven variables in one line and the remaining eight variables in that next line? Anybody? By default, horizontal. That is okay, horizontal, but why we are able to print only seven variables in one line? Anybody? What is that fixed length? How do you know That's that one? Line size. Again, hmm. We have any global so what is the global option that we have? We have an option called line size is equal to line size is equal to how many characters or how many columns we can I have in one line? Anybody knows what is that value that we have right now? 200, sir. Mm -hmm. By default, now the, the default setting we can write is one or two. How do you know that one? How we can know that we can understand what is the current value of the line size? What is the procedure we should write? Options. 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 Option, option is, is equal to endless. Option is equal to line size. Now, if you want to know the detailed information, we should use an <laughs> option called define. Nobody is practicing, huh? Now I'm selecting this program and executing the program. Now this is how we are going to get it. Now, you know, if you go to the log window, this is the information that we have. Can you say right now what is the line size that we have? Can you see this one? The current line no. size is one or two. What is the minimum that we can keep and what is the maximum that we can keep? Can you see here? Minimum is six to four and maximum. Minimum is 64 and the maximum that you can keep is 256. So I want to keep 200. Generally, what you will do, how we apply the global option? So options, line size is equal to 200. Now, if I specify 200 here, again, what is the problem? It is going to affect from now onwards the entire session. I do not want to make that one. So we have one more choice. Now we can apply that one directly within the proc report. So line size is equal to, I'm writing the 200. If you write within this report, what is the advantage? Whatever the option you are writing, this will work for only this procedure, for this program. Now, can you see? Now in the output window, we could be able to print all the 15 variables in one line. In the same way, I want to print all the 428 observations in one page. If you want to print all the 428 observations in one page, again, we have a global option. What is the global option that we have? PS is equal to. Do you, anybody knows what is the minimum we can write? What is the maximum that we can have? The minimum number of lines that what we can have in one page? 6,536. Six, six, 15. What is the maximum number of lines that we can write in one page? 32,767. Very good. 32,767. Again, how do you know that one? If you want to know that one, you should write a proc options. Option is equal to PS, define. If I write the options, option is equal to, say for example, PS and define. If I execute this program in the log window, we know that like, you know, what the current value, what the minimum value you can keep and the current value right now, we have PS size 56 and the minimum that you can keep is 15. And the maximum that we can keep is 32,767. Now, I want to print all my 420 observations in one page. So, see what I'm writing. I'm writing PS is equal to maybe 500. Now, see, 
if I execute the program, now if I go to the output window, now see, when I'm scrolling up, without any discontinuation, now can you see continuously, we have all the 420 observations in one place. Can you see this one? And we have all the 50 variables in one line. We have all the 420 observations in one place. And this is called line size and the page size. Clear, everybody? And finally, the next option that we have is no exec. What this no exec option will do, it will suppress or it will stop executing the given PROC report processor. You know, from the last 20 minutes, I have explained PROC report. You know, how many programs I have written? Can you see here? We have one PROC report here. We have two PROC report, three, four, five. And then we have six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12, 13. And I have written PROC report for 14 times. Without selecting this window, if I execute this one, what will happen now? Without selecting any program of this window, if I click on the submit button, what will happen? All programs will execute. All the programs will be get executed. Why you are waiting? Why you are thinking so much? All the programs will be get executed, right? Now, out of 14 programs, I want to execute. I want to execute. Out of 14, I want to execute 13. Okay, now if you want to execute 13, if it, whichever program that you do not want to execute, now I will go to the program, I am going to use an option called no exec. If I read the no exec option, you know what will happen? If I, if I, without selecting, if I execute the program, out of 14 programs, the remaining 13 programs will be get executed, except this program. Understand this one? So, no exec option suppresses executing a program, you know, by, by like, you know, suppressing that program to get executed. And this is called no exec option. By the way, now tell me what are the options that we have seen so far in today's class? Proc data reports, data is equal to data set name. Then what is the next option that we have seen? We have seen out is equal to data set name. Then we have seen an option called box. Box option oh. is going to keep, you know, put all the information to a table mm -hmm. in the output window. And then we have seen an option called head skip. It keeps a blank line between the variable names and the data. And then we have seen headline. Head it keeps head a line between the variable names and the data. And then we have seen name. named method. In the named yeah. method, we'll get the variable name of before each and every value. And then we have seen an option called no header. Mm -hmm. It suppresses printing of the variable names. And then we have seen, you know, by default, we have a center. We can also write no okay. center. And we have page size is equal to, we have line size is line equal size. to. And then what are the other options that it's we have seen? No exit. No ex we have seen a no exit option and we have seen some other option also. No? no? Did we see Please. any other options? By default, in SAS 9.4, we have Windows option. If you Windows. do not, by default, you have no Windows. But if you want to have a Windows win, separate window, what we should write? You should write Windows. Windows. And that is the opposite to SAS 9.2 version. We have few other options, sir, and we'll discuss about those options sir, during that time. Okay? Now, these are the options that we have. And in tomorrow's class, sir, we'll see the statements. Clear, everybody? See you. See you in tomorrow's class. Share the notes.